Cadillac Jack. I do afternoons here at the Beer 92.5, 3 to 7. It is the afternoon ride with Cadillac Jack. So here's what's going on. D-Rock has uh, all his marbles. Let's go see what this is all about. This is 90s country. I live 90s country. Uh, I worked for the largest country station in America at the time, back in the 90s. I think you're going down. If not, I'm going to be shocked, like everyone else in the world. All right, let's go. One of the uh, most trusted radio personalities in Metro Atlanta for the past 25 years. I know. Yeah, where's Cadillac Jack? Hey, hey. Cadillac might remember. I don't know if I called you on this, but I called 400 radio stations when Trisha Yearwood had the song. We were in a tremendous competition, some of it not very pretty. I'm sitting in Tony's office with Trisha, and we get a call that there's been a big hassle at Leanne. They want some kind of control that they're not willing to give on this song. So they want to see if Trisha would record it. And Tony jumped on that, and Trisha did, and recorded the song. But then Leanne and, and her folks decided that they had to record it. So now we were in direct competition. And the great news is we won that. We won it at country, but we pleaded. We absolutely pleaded at the label to release it pop, and they wouldn't do it. And she went on to have a big pop hit with it. But then Trisha won the Academy Award. Trisha's record was number one. At, it beat out Leanne's at country. But Leanne went on to sell a couple of million records at pop. Anyway, it was a very interesting experience on Kenny Rogers. The greatest. Yeah. Again, I made about 400 radio calls. People say to me, what does a manager do? I said, well, my view of a manager is anything that's necessary at that very moment to help the artist in their career. And sometimes that may sending the uniforms out for cleaning or selling souvenir programs at the concert. I ran the spotlight on one show one time. I never had done that before in my life because the spotlight operator didn't show. I would do whatever was necessary at that moment. And if getting a hit record was necessary, I was on the phone. The Cadillac can probably confirm how few managers made direct calls to radio programmers. I made great friends in the radio industry. There's a tribute special to Kenny Rogers mm. on country music television on CMT. But then uh, one that I did extensive interviews for and everybody else, and Lionel's on it, and Dolly and Reba and everybody, there is a two-hour Kenny Rogers documentary biography that includes a lot of the concert that was done in Nashville as it was supposedly his last concert. Arts and Entertainment Channel. I'm interviewed extensively, and as are most of the people that had something to do with helping his career along. And he was such a spectacular person. Hey, Caddy, Garth Brooks here, and Mr. Yearwood. I just want to say welcome back, man. So glad, um, so glad it turned out the way it did. Uh, we all have our blessings. Everybody's excited to see you back. Hey, what's up, Caddy? Jason Aldean here, man. Just want to say uh, welcome back to work. Um, heard what happened and uh, really glad you're okay. As you know, you've been one of the guys I've been listening to forever, man, growing up in Georgia. So glad you're okay. You're one of the good guys, man. So I uh, hope to see you soon and keep rocking. What's up, Cadillac Jack? Craig Campbell here. I uh, heard you've been out for a little while, had a little episode. Um, I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad you're back, man. We missed you. 